Good day, everybody. I'm Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland in beautiful Prince Edward Island. And today we're going to look at the Prince Edward Island government mapping interactive maps. And you can access these by going to www.gov.pe.ca slash maps, as seen up in the top left-hand corner of my screen. And in this, you can bring up all these interactive maps, uh, aerial photos, community accounts, frog watch, Geolink Plus. Geolink is what the realtors are using to produce maps and get tax information. Uh, that's a paper use system. PEI land online uh, is, is for agricultural and soils types. I'm not going to get into this whole list, but what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into island information, which is the first link. And you can bookmark this page as a, I have done. And this is going to bring up a complete map of PEI. And it works in a few different ways. Up here on the right hand side you'll notice you can reference things by street, property identification number, or community. So for instance if we were looking for something in a street, a house, we just type in the address, hit go, and that will bring us to that particular house. Now it will give you a list so if there's more than one house with the same address it will indicate that. In this case there's only one. So it will bring up that house. It will give us the full address. It will give us the PID or the property identification number. It will also give us the latitude and the longitude which you could type into a GPS. This is up to uh, seven digits. So there's where the house is located. If we go up here to the top left you can zoom to a rectangle, so if we just want to bring up that house, we can do that. And you'll notice the menu on the left has changed. We can click Aerial Photos, and that will apply a aerial oblique photo layer to that map. Clicking on the hand, we can move that up, and we could even zoom in any even further. So there's just that particular house coming up. And of course, you've got these buttons here for in or out. Um, and that will load. This little do jigger here will, will, will tell you if it's loading. So there's more of the neighborhood. What I find more interesting, we click back here in the little home, we go to uh, PID number. If the property has a house on it, it will bring up uh, those addresses. So we just click on this one here. This is going to show us 21 McKenna. As you can see, it's loading up here. So the red dot signifies 21 McKenna move this over, grab this tool, zoom in, try that again, there we go, just had some time catching up. So the house would be there, of course these maps are from 2000 so they're not exactly uh, up to date as of yesterday. The Google Maps, which I went through in my other tutorial, are probably a lot better for uh, being up to date. But what you can't do is this, we're going to go into a community here, for instance uh, Victoria West. So there's Victoria West, everything in purple. I'm looking at something in this subdivision here, so I'm going to select this tool once again. I'm just going to select the subdivision, it will load that in. So that's Country Lane and Moore Road in Victoria West. Grab the pointer, click anywhere, get rid of that purple highlight. Now here's where it gets really handy for real estate agents or people looking for property, specifically raw land is you can go into um, address locator here and turn on the civic addresses and the property lines. Of course there's all kinds of stuff this will do in the left hand menu. You can play with that. Right now I'm just trying to get through this as quickly as possible. So let's say I'm interested in the second lot from this what looks like a right of way to this field. So if I hover over that it shows me the PID number 756577 then again using the same tool I can zoom in on that lot So it's this lot here. Maybe zoom back a bit. Okay, so we're looking at this lot number here. But what I want to do, you know, assume this is in the middle of nowhere, or even if it's in the subdivision, I'd have to either measure the lengths between these, which you can do up here if you use this little tool. So these lots are probably 100 or 150 feet wide, 29 meters. And you can change that over to feet by going to the options, view options, change it over to US, and then when you measure it, um, it will show you in feet. So if I do the same thing here, it's just 97 feet wide. But 
what I'm willing, what I'm going to try here, I haven't tested this out yet, is you can select this button here, find long lat. You can click, say, on the middle of the lot where you put a for sale sign or where a potential buyer would go. And you just click around this one here. It should put a red dot on there. So there's our red dot. Up here is our latitude and our longitude. So in theory, you should be able to type this into a GPS and it should bring you within, you know, 10 or 15, 20 feet to that uh, to that marker so you'd be in the middle of the lot. So just to, in conclusion, the last thing that's really really handy is you can print a print get a printable page. So you click this button here at the top left. You can change the title to whatever you want. My map hit create page and there's my map and I can take this if I wanted to I could just go here and I can print it uh, what I typically do is I would create a PDF file which I would save along with the PID number and then I can use that to either email to clients uh, potential purchasers or save it with the MLS listing. So that's it. I'm Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Visit me at michaelshomes.com and subscribe to my mailing list. Thanks. Have a great day.